In this video, we're going to match a second photo and thereby extend the 3D model of the living room. Before we get it into SketchUp though, let's take a look at the Image 2 JPEG. And you can see here that the photographer was standing close to the fireplace and looking in this direction. And this will reveal more of this wall and more of the floor so that we can add that to the 3D model. However, there is a chair here that was not in the original Image 1 photo. You see? So we're going to have to deal with that creatively in the textures. So let's go into SketchUp. Before we match the photo, it would behoove us to orbit this model into a similar perspective that was in that photo. It's kind of like this, where we're looking at the fireplace on the right. Now I can go Camera, Match New Photo, select Image 2, and click Open. So now we have the photo and the 3D model visible. Our task is to adjust the handles of these bars so that they line up with the respective walls. So this is the red direction. And the green direction is very confusing at this point. I don't really know where to drag these handles, but I'm going to drag them over here and line them up with this edge. And then over here, I don't have anything on the ground to line it up with, so I'm going to line it up with the edge of the mantle here. And then I'll drag the origin point down into the corner of the room. And things are starting to make more sense. I see the fireplace, and it's lining up with the fireplace here, kind of. Now I need to go in and just refine things and move these handles around so that they are a little bit closer to the edges that they're mapping. And that's going to make our model a little bit more accurate. Over here, and then this edge as well. That looks pretty good. And that looks good too. So the other thing we need to do, aside from moving the bars around, is to move the origin point into the corner. And I'm looking at this blue line and trying to match it up visually with the corner of the room in the second photo. That looks good. Now I'm going to put the cursor right here on the blue axis and drag up thereby scaling up the space and the model. And I will drag it up to the top of the wall just about like that. Now I click Done. And then I can go ahead and start modeling the room. I'm going to draw a rectangle from this point over. And SketchUp is a little confused about whether I want to draw the back wall or the side wall. So I need to establish the back wall direction and then go back and select the individual edges and move them around independently. I'll move this edge down from its endpoint and snap it to the adjacent edge. And then I will select this edge and move it over in the red direction until it lines up with the edge of that wall. It looks like we have more floor here that we could add. So let's select this edge and then move it over and snap it there. And I will just orbit and you'll see that we've extended the 3D model. But now we can project the textures from the second image onto those surfaces. I'll go back to the image two scene and then select this surface, this surface, and this one. That's three total. I held down the shift key while selecting to get multiple surfaces. And then click Project Textures from Photo. Do you want to overwrite the existing materials? Now we're being prompted for this question because there was already a material here on this segment. So I'm going to overwrite that. I'll choose Yes. And now we're being prompted whether we want to trim the partially visible faces. I'll say Yes. And then Orbit by dragging the mouse wheel and you'll see the result. Now we've extended the living room and we see this wall in much more realistic detail. 
Unfortunately, the chair is being shown here, and that's something we're going to have to deal with creatively in Photoshop later on. And the floor doesn't have a single texture, but it's kind of sliced up into different pieces, and we will deal with that as well. Let's save this model as Living Room 3. <laughs> 